conditions and time spans in the universe are long enough and varied enough that I would bet that the real task with extraterrestrial intelligence will be to recognize it, you see. We have no conception of how species bound our images of life and biology are. This is a place where we have never been asked to confront mm -hmm. to what degree the monkey within us has yeah. channeled our expectations and perceptions. Mm -hmm. Well, it is the case that on this planet virtually all known life forms uh, are based on the same DNA molecule. Well, except that have all life forms been examined to see to mm -hmm. what degree they deviate percentage-wise from, let's say, a standard DNA molecule? The answer is no. The sequencing of DNA is a very expensive process and is only carried out on laboratory organisms with an extensive history of involvement in medical research, like E. coli or, or uh, the ordinary laboratory rat. No, there's a great deal we don't know about life on Earth. We don't know when the fungi entered into the evolutionary chain. We don't know what kind of intelligence is really possessed by uh, the cephalopods, the shellless mollusks that include the octopi. The intelligence of dolphins has been studied by Lilly and others. The intelligence of uh, of the large primates other than man. Uh, one way of looking at nature is that it is entirely linguistic intent, that DNA is in fact a, a, a way of uttering protein syntactical structures into matter. In other words, that all of nature is, is like a poem. <laughs> yes, nature is a communicating system mm -hmm. of some sort. And the, the problem that we have is to transcend cultural languages, mm -hmm. historically created languages with very limited applications, mm -hmm. and instead fall into phase with the, uh, the communication systems that nature has placed all around us. One possible view of the flying saucer is that it is a kind of projection from the consciousness of the planet, that it is Gaia, that it is, in fact, a kind of alchemical object haunting human historical time with a symbol of totality, the kind of totality that our religions mm -hmm. and our mystical yearnings are so mm -hmm. at pains to concretize for us. Mm -hmm. But unless we, as egocentric beings, clarify our relationship to the unconscious, then I think the flying saucer is going to remain quintessentially mysterious. And this was Jung's view. One of the things that Jung pointed out in this book is uh, that we must pay attention to the research which uh, Dr. J.B. Rhine was doing at that time at Duke University in ESP and psychokinesis and that even if UFOs uh, had a physical reality could be photographed or could be weighed and measured that they still might in some manner be projections of the human mind. Oh yes, this is an important point to make which the flying saucer people are forever misunderstanding and that is saying that the flying saucer is a psychic <coughs> object does not mean that it is not a physical object. Uh, Jung in Mysterium Conjunctiones is at great pains to say that the realm of the psychic and the realm of the physical meet in a strange kind of never-never land that we have yet to create the intellectual tools to explore. This is where the mystery of synchronicity is going to come to rest, the mystery of uh, all kinds of paranormal activity on the part of human beings, and the mystery of the flying saucer. It's interesting, you see, that if you take the broad world of the so-called mysteries, parapsychological, shamanic, extraterrestrial, so forth, and hypothesize another spatial dimension, one more spatial dimension, then suddenly all these mysteries become trivial. Mm. They are easily done. Locked boxes are opened, future events are discerned, lost objects are found. Uh, this sort of thing becomes quite the ordinary run of things if we hypothesize 
dimensions hidden from ordinary and experience. And of course there's serious work at this point in the field of uh, unified field theory in physics to postulate other dimensions of space than, than we normally think of. So. That's right. The current mm -hmm. physical models of the universe require 11 dimensions, 11 integrated variables to describe and that's physical models mm -hmm. of the universe. If we then turn our attention to mind and realize that having no definition of what mind is, why then is there any mystery in the fact that we have no definition of what the UFO is? The mind is present at hand in every conscious moment. It has been our constant companion for 50,000 years, and we haven't a clue as to what it is. Mm -hmm.